Americans around the country and here at Dodger Stadium today pause to reflect on the events that took place over two decades ago. And we continue to honor those who lost their lives and promise to never forget. For Gavin Stone, it's another opportunity for him to make his case for the postseason roster, one that already looks like it's going to be filled with young guys like Stone. You see the raindrops on top of Kemp's helmet as it starts to fall here. Very strange. There's a ground ball left side under the glove of Muncie and into left field. A base hit for Kim. Starts things here at the top of the first inning for the Padres. Now speaking of the running game, Kim takes off and the throw is not in time. There's a swing and a miss on a good change up for strike three. One second one away and that brings up Juan Soto as Kim gets a walking lead at second base. And this is through the left side of the left field. A base hit. Kim being waved around. Chris Taylor has trouble with it. Kim will score without a problem. And now at second base, Soto is out. Kim comes in to score, and the Padres take a 1 0 lead here in the first inning. It's Pedro Avila. Tuesday against the Phillies, six and two thirds scoreless innings. Got his first career win, left to a standing ovation that he says almost brought him to tears. Bets at 312, the fifth leading hitter in the National League. He's fourth with 162 base hits. Home with another 0 2 that bets drill down the line if it's fair goodbye off the pole and tied at one that's homers against San Diego again his 48th career leadoff home run that puts him into the top five in baseball history tied at one to the bottom of the second inning JD Martinez to lead off he's got a leadoff walk here after falling behind in the count pops it up Xander Bogertz at shortstop waiting for it to come down He's out on the outfield lawn to make the catch for out number one. One, two. Into left field, base hit for Chris Taylor. Waited on that breaking ball, yanked it into left. On a 3 1 from Avila. Takes ball four to load the bases. And the Dodgers have the bases loaded. One out, Miguel Rojas coming up. Four for five yesterday and hitting 340 over his last 16 games. Is 1 0. Mm. Check swing, no swing. And it's two to one. So it hits Rojas, and Martinez can literally walk in. Still loaded up, and Mookie Betts, who homered off of the foul pole his first time up. And a liner caught by Bogarts. Two former teammates right there with the Red Sox, and Betts lining out to his old friend Xander Bogarts, making the grab. And a ground ball right side to second base. Kim will go to first, and nicely done, minimizing the damage in that inning. Since Juan Soto's RBI single in the first inning, four in a row retired by Stone. I mean, it's down to first base, so they lead off Walker's Matthew Bat to begin things here in the third inning. Right center field, and this one is going to be a gapper. One hopper up against the wall. Heading for third is Bat, and he'll be stopped there into second base with a double is Grisham, and it's second and third with nobody out. Second and third, and here is Hassan Kim getting his second look at Gavin Stone. Softly lined to second base and Betts thought about coming home but he'll go to first base for the shore out and the Padres tie the score two to two. Muncie flied to center field in his first at bat at 207 34 home runs he's knocked in 96. High drive deep right field he'll take a home run over a walk any day of the week. A long home run for Max Muncie ties his career high 35 and the Dodgers are back in front. <laughs> the, the bat tosses are so good right now. Tapper left side. Martinez chugging along first, and he's got an infield hit. Slices this ball to the gap in left center field. That's down. Bounces into the seats for a double. And so Martinez has to stop at third. Avila's got some work to do. Second and third, one out for Chris Taylor. He brings up Chris Taylor, who promptly takes advantage. Banging one to right field, base hit. They'll stop Hayward with Tatis's arm, and for good reason. But it's an RBI single for Chris Taylor, who is two for two. On a 3-1, Rojas takes ball four to load the bases. Hayward at third, Taylor at second, Rojas at first. A full count with two outs. Everybody on the move. Two in the bank, looking for more. It is a curve. It's belted to left center field. Grisham on the move. Watches it. Get caught by a fan. Home run. They're going to say fan interference, though, and it's umpire's discretion where to place the runners. A double for Betts. So the umpires ruled that without the fan interference, it would have been a bases clearing double. 
And Betts has knocked in four. It is seven to two. The Padres have work to do down seven to two as we go to the fourth. Damn, man, he drives this one out towards left center field. That is back. And that ball is gone. A home run for Manny Machado. It is 27th of the year. The Padres get their third run of the night. Now going the other way is Bogarts to right field over his Hayward towards the corner into a slide. Can't get it. It's a fair ball. And jumps up into the seats for a ground rule double. Now Profar grounding one to the shortstop. Rojas looks towards third but fires to first for the out. As Bogarts takes third base with now one away. On the ground left side and it's cut off by Muncy who fires to first base for out number two. Run will score. Bogarts coming in from third. Gavin Stone back out there again. And it is softly lined into center field. A base hit for Soto starts things here in the sixth inning. Here's Manny with Soto at first. Nobody out. Swings at the first pitch. On the right field line. That ball is back and it is gone. A home run. Manny Machado. Two run shot is second home run of the night and the Padres. Back within a run, it's now seven to six. Padres not going quietly tonight. Line to right, and that's in for a base hit in front of Hayward. One two pitch through the left side into left field, a base hit. The second base goes pro far. Padres have two on with one away. Padres have runners on first and second, one out here in the top of the sixth inning. And they trail the Dodgers by one run, seven to six. And it's lined to center field, incoming, and Outman will play it on the hop, it gets by him. Scoring from second is Profar to tie it. Campusano to third. And into second base goes Batten. It is now 7-7. Seven to seven. The Padres have come back to tie it up. Trent Grisham to lead it off here for the Padres in the ninth inning. Fly ball left center field. This will send Altman back onto the track. Look out. And it falls. Heading to second base is Grisham. A collision between Taylor and Albin. Some miscommunication, and the Padres have Grisham at second base with nobody out in the ninth. And he gets a bunt down back to the mound. As going to first base is Phillips. Sacrifice is complete as Grisham takes third base with one down. And it's grounded back to the mound. They have gotten, oh, he drops the baseball. They have Grisham hung up, and Fernando will reach it first. So Grisham was like in no man's land and taking his eye off the ball there was Evan Phillips and then he drops it. First and third one away and Juan Soto coming up with a chance to put the Padres on top here in the top of the ninth inning. Soto hits it in the air to right field sending Betts back at the wall that ball is gone. Soto with a three run home run puts the Padres on top ten to seven a bat flip for the ages sent that one high into the air. Now that is clutch. Down the right field line. This one headed towards the corner, and that ball will be a fair ball and gone. Xander Bogarts with a home run. Puts the Padres on top 11 to 7. Josh Hader to Freddie Freeman. A shot and a base hit to right center field. So the first hit for the Dodgers since the third inning comes from Freddie Freeman. 13 pitch from Josh Hader is ball four. As impressive of a walk as a man can take. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out Muncy for out number two of the ninth inning. It is lifted into shallow center field, and the Dodgers are going to get the tie run to the plate in the ninth against Hader. RBI single scores Freddie Freeman. 11 to 8, and Kike Hernandez coming up with a chance to do something special. Hernandez could tie it with one swing, or he could. Take a walk, load the bases, and bring the winning run to the play. This is unreal. Bases loaded, two out. And Taylor into the box, three for 11 in his career against Josh Hader with four strikeouts. Line and caught by Bogarts at shortstop to end the ball game. Gets the job done, finally, 